So let's say you want to take a screenshot on your iOS device, but instead of sending the full resolution screenshot, you want to resize it so it goes maybe in an email attachment a little bit easier. It's not as large of a file size. There's a way to do this using the Shortcuts app from Apple, and I'm going to show you exactly how. First thing you want to do is take a screenshot of whatever it is you want to send. So I'm a, I'm a fan of sports. Let's take a screenshot of ESPN right here. So we've taken our screenshot. The next thing we need is the Shortcuts app from Apple. If you don't already have the app installed, you can go to the App Store and search Shortcuts and download the app that looks like this one right here. Once it's installed, click the Open button. This is going to open up all of your shortcuts. And there may be one or two sample shortcuts in here, but this will be pretty empty. You can see I've got a lot of shortcuts. We're going to create a new one by pressing the tab, the plus tab up here. We're going to add our first action, and this is going to be selecting our photo. So we'll type select and scroll down to select photos. On the show more tab, you can include in this search the images, live videos, and photos on your device. We're going to uncheck live photos and uncheck videos and we're going to press done. The next thing is there's an option to select multiple but because we just want to resize one screenshot we're going to leave that unchecked. If you want to resize a bunch of screenshots at one time you may want to toggle that on. The next step is to find the resize action. So we'll type resize, resize image. And right here, you can set it to whatever width dimension you want, and the height will automatically be adjusted. So to show you just how small we can make it, we're going to make this 100. That'll really show the resizing. The last step is we need to save this resized image. So we're going to click the plus again. We're going to click Save. And you can save it to a file in your iCloud folder, or you can click Save to Photo Album. We click Save to Photo Album, and you can choose if you want it to go into a specific folder, but we're going to just leave it in Recents. Now, we're ready to run this action. And you can run this action just by pressing the Play button, and it'll prompt you to select your photo, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to click Next. We're going to give this a name. We're going to call it Resize Screenshot. And I'm going to show you how you can run this from anywhere. So we'll click Done. And we'll go back into, say, our Safari. Let's say we make this picture right here. We just activate Siri, resize screenshot. It will take us to the app. We'll select our screenshot. It will run the shortcut. And now we can navigate to our photos. And we can see our original screenshot, and we can see our resized screenshot. So that's how you do it. Very simple, straightforward, using the free Shortcuts app from Apple. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below, and I'll get back to you quickly. If this was helpful, I'd love it if you would like and subscribe, and any new videos I come out with, you'll be notified. Thanks so much, and have a great day.